Apple juice is a fruit juice made by the process of softening or breaking the fruit into pieces, using a liquid and pressing the fruit till the juices are harvested. The juice received from these processes of maceration and pressing can then be treated by enzymatic and centrifugal processes to remove the pectin and starch, which holds fine particulate in suspension. It is then pasteurized and packaged in metal, glass, or aseptic containers. Dehydration processes could further treat it to a concentrate, leading to the production of other apple products. The process of making apple juice requires way more than has been previously mentioned. To make apple juice, the perfect variety has to be harvested, which is chosen from apples usually harvested from February to mid-April in the Southern Hemisphere, and from September to mid-November in the Northern Hemisphere. One of the most common cultivated varieties used to make apple juice is the Macintosh, or the Macintosh Red, which also happens to be the national apple of Canada. It's believed that you will need about two medium-sized Macintosh apples to make 200 milliliters, or 6.8 US fluid ounces of apple juice. Once the apples have been harvested, they are cleaned up and taken to the processing facility. The pressing process is carried out as soon as possible to prevent the apples from going bad and depending on the end product in mind and the company producing it, the apples can be processed in different ways before they are pressed. After the pressing process, the apple juice is filtered, marking the difference between apple juice and apple cider in the United States and Canada. The filtration process affects the number of solid particles left in the beverage which partly describes the difference between apple cider and apple juices. There are also cases in which apple juice is processed enzymatically using a class of enzymes known as pectinases. After the apple juice has been pressed and filtered, then comes the process of pasteurization. This involves treating the beverage with mild heat, usually below 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit for preservation purposes and to eliminate pathogens in the hopes of extending its shelf life and reducing foodborne illnesses. However, since apple juice is quite acidic, having a pH of 3.4, the beverage can be pasteurized for a shorter period or at lesser temperatures than a lot of other juices. With that in mind, the United States Food and Drug Administration has recommended processing time and thermal temperature for apple juice. Once the production process is completed, then comes the storage process. Most people would think that apple juice comes sealed in Capri Sun packs. And that's it. However, apple juice and most other beverages really require refrigeration for preservation purposes. Depending on the type of juice, the preservation process is quite different. For fresh apple juice, the preservation process is mainly refrigeration, while for sealed bottles or canned apple juice, the preservation process involves storing them in a cool, dark place, such as a cupboard or pantry, to slow down the degradation process of the apple juice. The ideal temperature for storing apple juice is between 0 degrees Celsius, 32 degrees Fahrenheit, and 4 degrees Celsius, 39 degrees Fahrenheit. However, while the preservation process helps to extend the shelf life, the apple juice's taste, texture, or appearance might be altered over time. The process of juice making is one that has undergone a lot of development with advancements in technology. There was once a time when fruits were pressed by foot in a huge bath because that was the best method. However, in today's modern society, the juice making process has gotten much better and much faster and safer.